Google just dropped something crazy for AI coding. It's called Gemini Conductor, and it fixes the biggest problem with AI development. No more random code that breaks everything. No more losing context halfway through a project. This is how you build real software with AI. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. All right, let's talk about Gemini Conductor. This is huge. Google just released this extension for Gemini CLI, and it completely changes how you build with AI. Here's the problem it solves. Right now, when you use AI to code, everything is chaos. You chat with the AI, you ask it to build something, it spits out code. But then you ask for a change and it forgets what you told it 10 minutes ago. The context disappears, the AI starts making weird choices, your code breaks, you have to explain everything again. This is called vibe coding. You're just vibing with the AI, hoping it remembers what you want, hoping it doesn't mess up your entire code base. That's the old way. Gemini Conductor is the new way. And it's based on one simple idea. Context should be permanent, not temporary. With Conductor, you don't just chat with AI anymore. You create actual project files. These files are markdown documents. They live in your code repository. They describe your project, your tech stack, your style guide, your goals, everything. And the AI reads these files before it writes any code. This means the AI always knows what you're building. It never forgets, it never goes off track. And you can share these files with your team. Everyone has the same context. Everyone is building toward the same vision. No more miscommunication. Everything is aligned. Now, let me show you how this actually works. There are three main commands in Conductor. First command is Conductor Setup. This is where you define your entire project vision. You tell it what you're building. Let's say you're building a new landing page system for the AI Profit Boardroom. You want it to convert visitors into members. You want it to show all the benefits of AI automation. You run Conductor Setup and describe all of this. The AI takes your description and creates a markdown file. This file becomes your project context. It's saved in your repository. It never disappears. Second command is conduct a new track. This is where you create specific features. Let's say you want to add a member success story section. You run conduct a new track and describe the feature. The AI creates two things, a spec file and a plan file. The spec file describes what the feature does. The plan file describes how to build it. Both are markdown files saved in your repo. You can review them, edit them, share them with your team. And here's the genius part. You approve the plan before any code gets written. No surprises, no random code appearing in your project. You stay in control. Third command is conduct to implement. This is where the magic happens. The AI reads your spec. It reads your plan. It reads your project context. And then it writes the code. But it doesn't just dump everything at once. It works in checkpoints. After each checkpoint, you can review the code, approve it or revert it. You're in the driver's seat the entire time. This is so different from normal AI coding. With normal AI coding, you're just hoping for the best. With Conductor, you're actually planning and executing like a real development team. Now I know what you're thinking. This sounds great for new projects, but what about existing projects? Good news. Conductor works on brownfield projects too. Brownfield means existing code, not just new greenfield projects. You can point Conductor at your existing code base. It will analyze it, understand your structure, your patterns, your style, and then it will start building on top of it without breaking anything. This is incredible for agencies, for freelancers, for anyone working on real client projects. Here's what makes this a total game changer. You can actually see your development process, those markdown files, their documentation, their planning, their collaboration, all in one. Your whole team can open them up and see exactly what you're building and why. New developers joining your project, they read the context files and they're up to speed in minutes, not days. And because everything is tracked in your repository, you have a history. You can go back and see why decisions were made. You can review old specs. You can see how features evolved. This is professional development, not just random code generation. And if you want to learn how to save time and automate your business with AI tools like Gemini Conductor, you need to check out the AI Profit Boardroom. This is where we teach you how to use AI to grow your business, how to automate your workflows, how to build systems that actually work. We cover tools like this every single week and we give you the exact processes to implement them in your business. No theory, just practical automation strategies that you can use right away. Link is in the description. Now let's talk about how you actually get started with this. First, you need Gemini CLI installed. Then you install the conductor extension. You run this command. 
Gemini extensions install with the conductor GitHub URL and the auto update flag. This installs conductor and keeps it updated automatically. Once you have it installed, you start with conductor setup. This is your foundation. Be specific here. Don't just say I'm building a website, say what it does, who it's for, what problem it solves. The more detail you give, the better the AI understands your vision. For the AI profit boardroom example, you'd say something like, this is a membership platform for entrepreneurs who want to automate their business with AI. It needs to feel welcoming, but professional. It needs to showcase real results. The tech stack is React with Next.js. The design style is modern, clean with lots of white space. See how specific that is? That's what makes Conductor powerful. You're not leaving anything up to chance. Then you move to conduct a new track. Each track is a feature or a component. Break your project into logical pieces. Start with something small, maybe a landing page hero section, maybe a sign up form, build it, test it, make sure Conductor is working the way you expect. When you run Conductor implement, watch what happens. The AI shows you what it's doing. It breaks the work into steps. After each step, you can pause, check the code, make adjustments. If something looks wrong, you can revert that step and try again. This level of control is what separates Conductor from every other AI coding tool. Here's something else that's really cool. Because your context is in Markdown files, you can edit them manually anytime. Let's say your project direction changes. You open the context file, you update it, you save it. Now the AI knows about the change. It will use that new information for every feature going forward. And if you're working with a team, this becomes even more valuable. Everyone commits their changes to the repository. Everyone pulls the latest context. Everyone is always in sync. The context file is the source of truth. Here's my best advice for getting the most out of Conductor, write good specs. A good spec explains what the feature does and why it exists. It describes the user experience. It lists edge cases. The better your spec, the better the code. Also review everything. Don't just trust the AI blindly. Read the plans it creates. Read the code it generates. Make sure it matches your vision. Conductor gives you checkpoints for a reason. Use them. If you're working on an existing code base, start small. Don't point Conductor at your entire project on day one. Pick one area, one feature. Let Conductor analyze that part build something new, see how it works. Once you're comfortable, expand to other parts of your code base. This approach is perfect for agencies. You can take on bigger projects. You can maintain consistency across everything you build. You can onboard new developers faster. You can document your work as you go. It's not just about writing code faster. It's about writing better code in a more organized way. All right, let's wrap this up. Gemini Conductor is not just another AI tool, it's, it's a complete shift in how you build with AI. It takes you from chaotic chat-based coding to structured, planned professional development. Your context is permanent, your team is aligned, your code is consistent, and you stay in control every step of the way. This is what AI-assisted development should look like, not random generation, not hoping that AI remembers what you said, but real planning, real structure, real execution. If you're serious about building with AI, you need to try Conductor. The official blog post has all the details. The GitHub repo has the installation instructions. Everything you need is linked below. And if you want the full process, SOPs, and 100 plus AI use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab. It's our free AI community. Links in the comments and description. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 38,000 members who are crushing it with AI. Real people, real results, real automation strategies you can copy. Thanks for watching. Go try Conductor. Leave a comment and let me know what you build with it. And I'll see you in the next one.